Hey everybody, this is Adam from Miller's Custom Guitars and I have a really interesting video for you today, or at least I'm interested to see what's going to happen. I have a really great guitar in the shop today, or at least it should be great, and it's actually kind of hmm, meh. It's a Epiphone Jumbo beautiful guitar, and it kind of sounds okay. And the owner of the guitar thinks that some of the tone is being robbed because it has a plastic nut and a plastic bridge saddle. And he thinks that the tone could be significantly increased and improved if we replaced those with better materials. So I am going to um, replace the saddle bridge with a tusk bridge and I'm going to cut him a new bone nut and we're going to replace the strings. We're going to do a full setup and get it playing and sounding great. And I'm going to do before and after comparisons. Now, um, to make the comparison fair, um, I'm going to use the same strings on the before and after video. Uh, but I am going to put the new strings on when it goes out the door so that he has the full experience. But I'm going to record a quick video of me playing before and then I'm going to do a, a video playing after. And I'm going to do show some clips of, of me doing the work so you can see what's going on. Hope you enjoy it. Let me know in the comments how you think it sounds and which sounds better and if you think it's worth it. Alright, here's the before video. As you can see, this is a very beautiful um, Epiphone EJ200CEVS Jumbo. It is very special. It's very beautiful. It's got a beautiful inlays and binding and a uh, nice big mustache on it. Beautiful rosewood and nice inlays on the fingerboard. Yeah, and so it's really beautiful guitar, but uh, Personally, I think uh, the sound could be better. All right, so I got the strings off of this guitar and I got the bridge out. Here's the original and here is the replacement tusk. Um, but if you wanna know if why there's a difference and if there's a difference, it's pretty easy to listen to. So just listen to this. This is the original, there's the original. Here is the tusk. The tusk nut has so much more resonance and frequency response than the other one. This one just sounds completely dead. And this is just has no life in it and is absorbing and killing all of your frequency response. So I think this is going to make a huge difference. Okay, just a little quick update. Did get the nut off. And just in case there was any doubt as to whether or not this nut was plastic, yeah. Uh, holes drilled in the bottom, dead giveaway, plastic. So we're gonna clean that nut slot up, get it nice and flat, and start making a bone nut. And in the meantime, I got the saddle sized perfectly. It's a nice tight fit. Got to push it in there. That's going to transfer a lot of vibrations. And then the other thing that the owner wanted, is he wanted to replace the bridge pins to something that matched to get rid of the plastic ones. I don't know if this will affect the tone or not, but it'll match a little bit better. So we're going to get some of those in there. Here's an interesting part of the process, if you haven't seen it before. I've got the nut blank roughed out, and I've got the uh, string spacing measured. I used my Stumac string spacing guide and measured in from the edges of the fretboard, and then I used the string spacing guide to determine the rest of the string spacing, and then I um, transferred that over, and then what we're doing is we're a very lightly scoring those lines with my finest saw 
And these are really just these are really just kind of like scoring lines so that my actual nut saws have a, a groove to follow later. And these don't go very deep. Just gives me some place to start. And then actually do the rest of the slot cutting on the guitar with the strings on. And I'll show you some of that next. All right, so I'm back over at the bench. And you can see I got my, my nut blank down in the, uh, in the guitar. And um, I got the old strings on the guitar, which is um, pretty uh, good benchmark because they're the same uh, string gauge as the new ones that are going to be going on to, to do the uh, string gauge and everything for my nut slots. And uh, you, know, so you can see I got one already done. Now the, um, the, the grooves that I carved with the, um, with the razor saw um, are barely enough to just hold the string in place. And you can see that one just jumped right out. That's just good enough to make sure that my string width is, string spacing is good. Um, but other than that, we can, we can just get going. Um, now the strings are not in tune. They're just basically enough to um, to hold the strings in place, and uh, and what we'll do is we I kind of loosen the string, move it out of the way, and then file a, a nut a nut groove, and then we'll get going. You can see I have some tape in order to protect the uh, headstock, and we'll get going. So I like to s start with a saw that's slightly smaller than the string gauge that we're going. If you have the, if you cut the nut slots too wide you'll get like weird overtones and rattling so even though this is the uh, a string i'm going to use uh, the saw that's slightly smaller than that and if i and then i'll go up to it if i need to so i'm going to start right here and these are two-sided files you have the uh, skinny strings on one side and the fat strings on the other side So put them in and then yeah I found that you can you can check it with gauges I found that you can check it with gauges but I found that it's really just better and, and faster and, and pretty much pretty reliable just to do the old tap test you basically you press like if you're gonna fret the third fret and then you just tap on the second fret you just want a little bit of movement less than a like a business card thickness uh, this is still a little high making a nut is tricky you know you don't want to this one's just a little high go down just a little bit more Oh yeah, there we go. Tap test. Now, when you're cutting a nut slot, one thing that that you that you always want to do is you want to um, back saw back file the nut. You don't want it to go straight across. It can cause a lot of problems, uh, including like a sitar sounds and and ghost notes. And it'll also help your tuning stability. So what I'm going to do now is loosen that, take the string out, take my saw. And just start to back file. This is exact. This is why I have the uh, the tape there because it's really easy to to go too far and and hit the the neck, especially if you're on a like a flat headstock, like a Fender style. I don't know if you can see it there, but the string kind of dips down. And now we have a nice clear tone on the string. Now the last thing I want to might do is I might widen that nut slot a little bit. It looks a little small for that string. I'm going to grab my next size up saw, which is the 36. And just widen just a little bit. I'm not going deeper, just a little wider. Yeah. So anyway, I thought it might be interesting for you guys to see how a nut slot is cut. So. 
Let's do some sound clips. Okay, here's the before. Um, I'm using the Tortex Green pick. And I'll just try to play the same thing before and after. So here we go. I'll play some chords in E, then some chords in e, G, and then some open chords. Okay, here we go. comes through on the video but I think even with these old dead strings um, I think it's got more response I think the uh, treble end is is better I think it's definitely got more sustain like more overtones um, and I, I really can't wait to hear it with uh, with the full setup and new strings on it. So, and I'll do a video or a clip with that too. This guitar is all done. I'm very happy with how it turned out. Um, you can see the nut. Uh, it's all perfectly fitted and shaped and the bridge turned out. He uh, turned out good. The, uh, the pins, um, got in there and you know they didn't show up color matching uh which is interesting but it got a little bit of a rainbow thing going on there um oiled the uh bridge oiled the neck uh polished the frets polished the uh tuners cleaned the whole guitar did a full setup so now it uh plays great and uh pretty good so I think uh, we did our job today and uh, so there you go and so if uh, your guitar needs some love hit me up we'll see what we can do